man. G'day guys. Need that. I found my shoes. I haven't been down here since I've worn shoes last, so it must be close to three months. I come down here to make a video, but then as soon as I got down here, I realised I didn't come here to make a video. I come here just to relax. You know what the carp are doing? There's one feeding right now. Well, I'm gonna leave them. They're up for the taking. That's good. The carp are up high. I haven't seen many, but the ones I have are active. One big old carp over there feeding. So gonna, I've just tied a little kelt tail on. I'm going to go over and see if I can get him. Fishing pretty heavy. I've got 10 pound braid and leader, so my casting's not going to be real long. It's definitely active though. It's the size of the carp I'm after. Just see if he relaxes and comes back again. Oh, that's it. There's a mud boy. There's one. close to him. Yeah, no. Come on, let it go. Little tick on the line. Yeah, yeah, come on. Never hear a little bump. He's on it. Come on. A little mud boil in the weed here. I'm just going to target that for a sec. on it. Take it, take it, take it. There he is. He's just passed. Oh, how can I get to him? He's feeding. He's exactly what I want. Don't look at me, don't look at me. Oh, it's perfect lay, but I've got it in the wrong spot. Come on, come on, he's disappeared on me. There he is. I'll bring this around to him. Here we go. Oh, come on. One of that. Take it. Yep. Got it. Okay, <laughs> one. Yeah, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? Work you out, buddy. Where's he gonna go? 
This is why the length of these carp is over there. I've got to take him back through this weed. It's a, it's a patience thing. Come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Inch by inch. Oh. Get him rubbing on that braid. Oh, now we got him out. Come on. Come on. Come on. Gone too far now. It's not real deep. I'm just in my pockets. I need that fish. Lift the fish. Oh mate. It was deeper than I thought. I want you though. He's right on that snag there. There he is. There we go. It's off the snag. Still got him buried in weed. Come on. Just keep the pressure backwards on it and try and get some of this weed out. He's on there still. Oh, I just put my hand on you. Is it big one? Uh, if you're wondering what I'm using while well, I've got this time to kill. Oh, look, there he is there. There he is. Okay, I've got a Shimano Zodius rod, light medium, and an old 15 year old Stella. Just, I just can't kill. I'm going to run a 10 pound Ariki braid and 10 pound leader. Then on that I've got a number 4 drop shot hook. Oh. <laughs> I watched him come in and take that. See how he's took it by the mouth. They actually are a predator these fish. See that? It's right in his mouth. Yeah, number 4 drop shot hook. And just to use the little Berkeley gulp curl tail. Beautiful little fish. There's the hook in his mouth. Let's put it right there for a sec. Anyway, there he is, there's the carp. Unfortunately, he's going to end up fox food. There's the hook. There you go. And there he is. Oh, a real big carp, this one. But um, I will turn the camera off now. We're going to dispose of him. I'm going to take him up the paddock here. See how long it takes for the foxes to get hold of him. Just seen some nice carp swells. Put my bag down here and just stalk this next stretch. There's two there. It's a big one there, but he's dormant as. I doubt if he'll take any. But the way he's set up, I could maybe hang that curl tail right in his face. It's too far over. He's coming to it. He's looking. That's all it took. He didn't want it. There is fish here feeding though, so let's have a look down here a bit. One feeding when I pull up, one dormant. There's all mud everywhere, so I can see they are feeding. There's a mud boil. Just come back out here a bit. There's one over there feeding. I just don't want to spook anything else around. You're a hard one to get to, but just check. It's gonna have to be you, buddy. Ah, too short. Oh, yeah, 
there's one. That's the one I want. That's the one. Oh yeah, straight onto it. Didn't take it. He's following it. Oh, I had. Oh, I had one on. The one I was looking at left it, but the other one followed it. He took it, took it, took it. Had it. God, the, the bite is so tricky. He chased it, nipped it, and that was it. Now he's all fully aware. See? Straight, swam right around it. Now if I want to get him, I've got to change colour, so I'm going to go and look for another one. So I left my bag behind. But he wanted it, though. Is that nip? Should be three fish, not one so far. I've had two good nips plus that one. Sometimes it's just a matter of sitting and waiting for them to come to you. Oh, that's a little one. He would have done me that one. Yep, yeah, he wants it. Oh, another one in his mouth, out of his mouth doing wrong that's got it that's on oh looked at it turned then you get one golden don't you Just no, don't want you now. Well, I'm not going to worry about bass today. I'm just going to go for one more carp. Oh, grab. Oh, I see. On a mud boil, a little grab, and then I let go. Didn't change my bait, I think. And again, can't just set that hook in or go oh, had him. <sighs> That's his sight blind, and that was three good grabs. You know what? I'll go back and change my hook. I think I'll bend it too far in from that last one. Just goes to show they want it. Yep. All I was doing then was just little hops. Come on, you can get out of there. A bass. I was just doing little little hops across the bottom. I'm just feeling tap. Another tap. And up comes a nice little bass. And the same lure that I was chasing the cart with. There you go. Nice bass. Just goes to show, like the carp are predators. You know the bass are predators, but they both go for the same little rig. It's just, a, just a little curl tail, drop shot hook, number four, number four drop shot hook, and there's our little bass. Oi, come on, let's put you back, eh? Nice and silver. He's got a, one saw on him, but. Main thing is he's all silver, which means he's just come up into the system. He's gone. Alright, let's see if we can pick up another one. Usually when the bass are feeding like that you can get quite a few. Took about three casts to get him to draw. So we do it again. But you'll just see little ticks in the line. So I just let it hit the bottom. I'm basically fishing the bottom, which is something not many people do for bass, but it's quite effective. Just a little touch, 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 touch. Just basically shaking the rubber and then dropping. It's 
a slow boring sort of a process to uh, show on film but it's such an effective way to fish I'm targeting bass and carp by doing this getting old getting soft getting lazy and now I'm getting back to the shop it's your mana I must be mine wall but I just wanted the I got one little skinny line of lures and they're all what I use for carp bass and brim especially these guys so all these little creature baits like them them these are all carp lures and I, what hooks I've been using is on the carp have been the fours or the sixes on the brim I've been using the number twos. Twos for the brim, fours for the carp, and even six for the real finicky carp. And same we use these of weed protect guard, guard worm, drop shot hooks, little VMCs. This sort of stuff's perfect for the carp because anyone get that point indoor. And basically we just run a little tiny little tiny ball sinker off it. <laughs> 